I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota and Fell apart south of Seoul Hello everybody, it's Mindy and I have a video for you. This is from, of course, Diamond Art Club and I'm super excited to show this one to you. Um, this was the week after all of the Black Friday, Cyber Monday fun shenanigans happened. And then they came out with this, of course, right? And of course, Mindy's like, okay, come on. Uh -huh. How many Chuck Pinsons can you put out in the span of three weeks? A lot. All right. So I'm super excited to show this one to you. It is a Chuck Pinson. It's called Love's Infinity a Garden. Now, if you have ever gone to Chuck Pinson's website and looked at some of his pictures, or there's a couple other places you can look as well, places that sell his prints and things like that. This one that I've looked at for a long time and um, hoped, hoped that they would come out with this one. So I'm super excited to see it. It's a big one uh -huh, and it's stuffed in this box. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. I'll show you what it is real quick. Um, there was no sneak peek of this one. I know that because there was a shipping delay. I actually think this one didn't come in for quite a while. It took two weeks for me to get this one, almost two weeks. So I think it just wasn't in stock. So uh, here we go. Love's Infinity a Garden, 93 by 70. It's just got this beautiful like gazebo type thing here and uh, waterfall, little rapids. Okay, let, that's not doing us a whole lot of good, that, that little sticker thing. I'll put that on the end of my box, but it's not showing it. Okay, toolkit. Let's see. What do we get in this toolkit? Do we get cover minder? Is it gone? Uh, nope, it's not gone. There it is. We still get one in here. Okay, so here is our tray and our little squishy for our pen. That's pretty teal color. I like it. That even has sparkles. I love it. Our little container with our wax heart-shaped waxes in there for everybody. Um, hang on, let go. <laughs> the thin four and seven placer, uh, baggies, washi tape, random washi tape, floral. This one is floral. And our cover minder is a dolphin. Do, 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 a little dolphin. Okay, it's a square drill painting, so we get tweezers as well. Love it. Okay, that's our toolkit. All right, all right, here we go. Let's get it out of the bag. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Okay, come on. I always manage to tear these. <laughs> Trying not to, but, you yeah. know. Okay, come on. Out, out, out with you. Over here, in the sink we go. <laughs> So they have their uh, soft back self-flattening canvas. They have poured glue. They have pinked edges. And sometimes this happens. We get a little bit of this flocking. They flock the back of this is what they do. And sometimes the flocking is what I've learned. It doesn't stick all the way. So sometimes it comes off in little, little chunks like that. Um, I don't know. I always think of a Christmas tree when I think of that. We always had a flocked Christmas tree. And my mom would be like, spray a lot of that on there. Spray a lot of it. She always wanted it really thick. <laughs> All right. Poured glue. I'm feeling this. I'm wondering if this has, I'm wondering if this has purper, purper, perforated. It does. I can feel it as I'm rolling it. I can't even, I haven't even seen it, but I can feel it. It's got the perforated plastic on there. 
Oh boy, my first perforated plastic. We will look at that and talk about that in a second. Okay, I'm just going to let it roll the other way. Lay flat. More of that extra excess flocking off there. Okay, that was interesting. As I was rolling, I was like, ooh, something feels different, folks. Something feels different. Okay, here is their information sheet, tips and tricks, and how to diamond paint, and talks about the Facebook group, and their app and all of those things. There's some codes in there. Um, if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club, I have a code, 10 off Mindy. That's $10 off your first purchase um, if you need a code. All right. After that, go join the VIP group and all that stuff. There's codes in there. So, all right. Love's Infinity Garden. You can use this for your logbook, start and end date. Sizing is down here. Square drills. 93 by 70, 56 colors. These are individually cut. They will peel off to go on your containers when you kit up. Here's the picture. It's so pretty. It's just such a serene feeling place. Oh, there's some deer right here. I didn't notice that before. There's two little deer and a bench here. Got the little waterfall coming down. We just have this nice little area to just enjoy your surroundings. All right. At the bottom, we have a fairy dust. It looks gold. I, that would be interesting. If I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Anything under 150 is an AB. So there's one, two, three, four, five ABs. Interesting there. Some of these colors look like, I don't know, grays or we'll find out. We'll find out. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and a fairy dust. All right. Okay. Drills come packaged like this. Here's the colors. Look, there's some really pretty bright colors here for the flowers, but lots of greens and tan colors for sure. Okay. All right. Let's flip this over and see this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it is very, very pretty. It is very, very pretty. I Like I said, I did not notice that there were deer. I feel a ridge right here. That's perforation. This is interesting. We're going to have to look at this up close. The structure, there's a gate back there. Like you've come into a, a special garden, a special place to sit and think and reflect. And you got the river coming through and the rapids. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. All these flowers over here and the flowers continue all the way up in the background. It's super pretty. What do you think of it? I think it's beautiful. All right, up at the top, do what makes you sparkle. A legend on both sides, both sides. And down here is your licensing information. Okay, now let me let me bring it in and see if it shows up. Right here. This is a perforation. Can you see it? I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to catch it on camera. Oh, how do I how do I show you? See, okay, look, it's tearing right there. Okay, so that is like the first section. Wait, no, there's another one. How big are these? Are they all the same size? I don't know. So here's like the first one is here. Oh my goodness, let me let me zoom you in. Okay, the first perforation goes from here to here. This little square right here. So it's about, let's see, how big is it? I'm going to measure it. Why not? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to actually tear these off or not, but let's see. So from our plastic edge over here to right here. Well, let's do inches. I want inches, not centimeters. Let's see. Is it? about four inches it's about four inches and then here's the other one yeah i think they're close to four inches i don't know if they're all the same size or not but hang on they seem to be yeah here's one here's one you can feel it on here it's very interesting it gives it a different feel when you do this you can feel all the little ridges on there it's kind of interesting um, I wish you could see it better. Like, you can't, well, right here, that's a line. See, that's a perforation right there. Right here. 
it's hard to see the here's a line right here oh there we go get it in the sun just right that is the perforated line right here interesting well so i don't know there's quite a few across here one two three four five I believe there's one right there, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10. There's about 10 across the bottom of that. Interesting. Well, let me know what you think. This is the first time I've experienced the perforated cover. Kind of, kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you, you literally could pull off this section and just work on this one little corner. I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's look at the drills. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's look at drills. Oh, I should have left you zoomed in. So oh, sorry. <laughs> in and out we go. Okay, it's a lot of drills. A lot of drills, folks. A lot of drills. Okay, we're going to have plenty of multiple bags, too. So, 3345 green, two of them. Two, 3064. One, two, three, six forty-six, which is kind of like a greenish gray. Green, green, gray, green. Okay. One four seventy-one. Got some purple. Like I said, multiple bags of each color. Two eight ninety-eight. Gray, green. Kind of like a creamy chocolate color. Okay, here's our here's our fairy dust. All right, let's. Focus, can you see the shimmer on those? The mica powder that they put, there's a mica powder coating. It gives it just a real glistening, shimmery effect. Hmm. And it's a, a yellowy beige, yellowy creamy color. Oh, interesting, okay. Uh, 33861, gotta keep that one kind of close at hand so I remember that yellow. All right, here comes the greens. Three nine thirty fours. Three five hundreds. Two gray. Pretty rosy pink color. A yellow. Taupe green. Here's our landscape black. <laughs> 3371, two bags. 451. Kind of a Purpley gray. Brown. Okay. So this is our first AB. No, nope, it's not the first one. No, it's not the first one. This is number three. So it's kind of like a uh, got almost a purpley hue, a purpley tan. I'll call it a purplish tan. That's pretty. And then a pretty pink, pinkish red, reddish pink. Ah. Descriptors, descriptive words for colors. <laughs> All right, two four oh sevens, a peach, another green, two brown, eight forty. Six forty two is kind of like a light olive. Four thirteen is a blue, blue green, two thirty seven seventy two, from two oh eight, love two oh eight. 452, more tan colors, 2801s, 2839s, and 1640. There was nothing special in that bag, in that batch, right? No, I don't think so. Okay. 402. There's some 310. There's some beautiful red. We've got a lot of reds in here. 119 is a purple. That's very pretty. That's number four. A lot of purple flowers. Here's our pretty pinks and reds. 115 is a red AB. We got a purple AB. We got a red AB. Flowers, yay. Flowers need ABs. 135 is that green. All right. And here's 106, which is very like a creamy, almost yellow AB. And that is number one. All right. Some more reds and blues. My beautiful burgundy, yellows, and pinks. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can find here. 106. 
106 is the first one and it's one. It is just that like creamy color, like a creamy, that, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna just call it cream. It's number one. And where is it? It goes through here. And where else? Not a ton of it. So I saw it right here in the water and more in the water. Water, water. Okay. Not downstream, just right here, like where the little rapids and the waterfall is. There's a few up here. Hang on. I got to zoom you back out. There's a few up here in this bush, just speckled speckled throughout and you know my guess is that's probably it okay uh number two was the red and it's not up there in the red and it's not there in the red but it is all through here just peppered highlighting the beautiful flowers very pretty are there some down here there's a few in here yep and how about up this way? Yes, in this tree. Not that one, just this one. So that's where the red goes. Then number three was 117, and it was, is it in here? Not in here. No, 117 is over here. It's this one, which is kind of like more of a brownish tan. That one, that one's cool. Okay. And it is number three. So it's also in the water here and the water th throughout the waterfall. Um, oh, this bush. Wow, there's a bunch of it in the bush up here. So there's two ABs in the bush. Let's see. Anywhere else? Mm hmm. Not seeing them pop out anyplace else. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna say that's it. All right, number five is that bright green, and of course it comes through the grass down here, down here, and then you can almost you can almost spot them immediately. They're through here and through here, up this way. There's a few in there. That's where the green goes, and then. Did I miss the purple? I skipped the purple. Number four is the purple. And where is the where is that purple going to be? I would have thought it would be down here, but I don't see any. Um, let's see. Okay. Back to this bush. This bush has got three different ABs. There's some there. How about this purple right here? Oh, yeah. All through here. Just peppered throughout. Okay. Some here. And some over here. So that's where the purples will be. Love it. Okay. Our last one is that fairy dust. And it is tea. And okay. It's kind of doing what I would think it would do. So there is a little bit down here. Like there's a patch of it right through here. But then. But then. It does this. This whole yellow spot here and here making this okay remember the sun's shining on that right from that direction sun shining and hitting this so these yellow spots you see are the fairy dust so is some of this here right but i don't think that's it i think there's some up here yeah patches of it up here making the sun shining the actual sun shine like all of this you see all of this? This up here, these patches, these patches is all that fairy dust. Now that should be very pretty. I think when you get the fairy dust in in, in patches, they show up. Uh, when they're individual, like just real separate ones, I've had one painting that I, I just don't think they showed up very well because it was just one or two. But I think when you get a nice big group of them, they're going to show like this is going to show up really nice as a, a shimmer on that. Um, what are we calling that? A gazebo? Cupola? What do you want to call it? No, not a cupola. Gazebo. It's a gazebo. Yeah, it's just a stone gazebo. Um, 
I think they're going to show up very nicely. So I, this one's beautiful. It's gorgeous. What do you think? I know all my Chuck Pinson lovers out there. What do you think? This is an oldie but a goodie. This is one of his paintings. This is so weird to do this. <laughs> um, it, it's been around for a long time. You know, it's one of his older paintings. And I think it's just stunning. I've looked at it many times going, they need to do that one. They need to do that one. There's still some good ones out there. They've been doing a lot of his newer stuff, but there's still a lot of his older stuff that's really, really stunning. So let me know if you've um, gotten a painting with the um, perforated plastic. It's, it's very interesting. This one, sometimes you can really feel them. It, the lines coming down this way, I can kind of feel, but the ones going across this way are more pronounced. So when I do this, I just, I feel them. It's interesting. Okay, I'm done rambling. I will let you guys go. Let me know your thoughts below, okay? And hit the like button, subscribe, and all those things, please. And thank you so much. It's very helpful when you guys do those things. So there it, there it is in all of its glory, all of its beauty. I love it. All right. I will talk to everybody soon. Bye, you guys.